This is a box. And these are two boxes. And both these boxes contain total of two miniatures. The total value of four freaking thousand dollars. It's two Warlord Titans. This is one unbuilt, and this is a built one that's been part of the trading series where we traded our way from a Night Goblin. It's worth 10 cents all the way up to these two. And today, we're going to unbox these to see what's in here. But guys, it's gonna be really fascinating. Haven't we done something like this before? That's why it's gonna be interesting, because we've already unboxed the biggest Warhammer model in the world which was the Tau Manta. It was so poorly cast that we had to cut up the miniature with real freaking sauce just to fit the parts together. We also built the Thunderhawk, the most expensive miniature that they sold in the 90s. And that sucked. That was the worst experience. So we're gonna see, are these miniatures horribly designed? Is the casting better? This one is pre-built. Is this one gonna be easier than that one? Is it gonna be broken from shipping? Let's see. Oh, we got the blanket. A blanket. A two I, a blanket. Two blankets. Look, I think we do like this. This is the certificate. Certificate for both of them. I didn't know that we had one for this one. This is copy 946. This is so much better than the Manta, Manta already. So much better than the Thunderhawk. <laughs> <sighs> Why you no work? Go big or go home. The panels never <laughs> seem to survive the trips. It's actually quite well painted. <laughs> well, I see one thing here. It's a plasma. Jesus bejeebus. Why the frick do they even make these? It's so dumb. It's so big. It just makes people like you and me <laughs> suffer. Yes. But it's quite well built and it was quite well painted. They spent quite a lot of time on it. It's, oh, is this one of the shoulder missile things? Oh, that one's actually quite cool, but it's such a big, <laughs> such a big fucking thing. <laughs> How do people ship these to tournaments? Quick answer, they don't, because they I don't, don't actually think anyone plays with these. A recommendation to people out there, if you're ever gonna ship something like a World War Titan, ship it in many small packages. Because I think that it's the main body that's the yeah. problem. Like, it, it's so heavy that it like crashes against all yeah, of Every time stuff. it shifts like weight, it's probably <clears throat> destroying everything yeah. else, yeah. All of these ones are gonna be impossible to know <laughs> where they are going. <laughs> Can we just glue them on top of the yeah, panels? Yeah, we just put them some random place. Oh! Knas, that bit is gonna sit there so. Jag har ju byggt en Warbringer! What the hell? Yeah. Oh. I mean, this is cool and all, but I think what's gonna be fascinating to see is how the new inbox one is gonna be. Yeah. I think this is not gonna be a problem to glue together. It's gonna be a little bit of scraping off, like glue and shit. Yep, honestly, I'd rather have it this way than it falling apart when we work on it. Yeah. So, the first one is unboxed. That's what you think. Yeah, are you ready for the second one? <laughs> no, I freak no. I'm not, because I want to tell you something. You know that I've been ridiculously excited about Diablo 4, right? And this week's sponsor, Display, have some of the coolest one-of-a-kind metal posters you can find out there. I managed to find three of these amazing Diablo posters that I really wanted to have in my room. But not only that, they don't just have an official Diablo and Blizzard stores where you can find cool nerd stuff, but... They have something that captures your personal hobby and style as well. Yes, because just have a look at this beautiful Salmo Trutta what Brown What the hell is that? I'm gonna have this in my hobby room. Uh, no, in my hobby room I'm going to have a freaking color wheel. That's much prettier. <laughs> and these posters, they are the easiest ones to set up. You pretty much just slap them on the wall and you're done. And then if you want to switch them out, how difficult is it? That easy with 22% off if you order one to two posters, or even 33% off if you order three of them. I don't think there's been a better time to buy something for yourself. Follow the link down below, because uh, then they will pay us money. Right. You wanna see some editing ed editing magic? Yes. <laughs> what, how did that happen? Which one do we start with? Do we start with the body or the weapons? I think we start with the box in the box. We should probably bring out the checklist, because Guy from Midwinter Minis, two years ago when he started building on his, there was parts missing. Ah. Uh. 
I think we start with everything at once. A bunch of panels. But you know what? Right away, it doesn't look as greasy as the Manta. No, it, it, that is true. It does look a lot better than, than the Manta. The overall feel is much better. It's yeah. like they actually did some quality control on this. Yeah. All of this, I would say, from a quick glance, looks fine. Oh, this is the back piece. Should we see if it works? Yeah, this should be interesting. Oh, oh. What the frick? This looks super straight. So on the Manta, every time there was a piece like this, you didn't have these beams in between. Or it would just have been a completely up. flat. Yeah. yeah. And they even have supports. You can see, however, some greedy lines. It's like the, the when you do like the resolution of the print. Yeah, you have some of those like layers or pixels or whatever you want to call it, visible, but but I'm amazed that there's no bubbles because you remember on the Manta, on the cockpit, there were yeah. like these bubbles coming right in. Have we actually managed to find the Forge World jackpot? Everything looks fine. I guess we're, we'll have to wait and see when we start building it. But I mean, there's a few places where there are mold slip, but not comparable no, to the Manta. No, 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 no. This looks like a Tony Stark arc <coughs> reactor. Yes. Thing. Freaking hell yeah. Let's go. This is resin quality that I can stand behind. But we have to say that because I built three Forge World kits and this is the first one. <laughs> <laughs> That's not horrible at even at first sight. But it just feels higher end than the Manta. I wonder is, the, is this one released after, later than the Manta? The Manta must be older because yeah. this is so much like more well. Oh, okay. We have our first uh, slightly warped part. Oh. It looks warped, but it definitely is bent. So that's a, a big negative. You and can see some of that greasy speckles yeah. from the release agency. Yep, it's the same here. Release agent. Agent. <laughs> Most of the time why this shows up is because it's a two component resin and it haven't been mixed enough. Which means that one of the parts is kind of leaking off from the stuff that's been hardened. But this area I would not paint without sanding it first. No. Which is honestly, Port World, you should know better. Considering it's a $2,000 model. Again, facts, since we run a company that makes resin miniatures ourselves, we've kind of learned a lot from our casters and kind of like how the process is. And generally when you have resin molds and you make them in silicon, but you get somewhere between 20 to 25 casts per mold. The first cast is obviously gonna look amazing and the 20th one might not look as amazing. These ones all seem to be made quite early in the mold casting process. There's been a few with uh, the mold slips and things like that. That's quite common for an older mold, uh, but generally the casting quality is great. But the casts themselves are so detailed and like... Yeah, it's quite nice because it's such simple shapes. I think yeah. that helps a lot. <clears throat> okay. What? These are actually pretty straight. This one is a little bit warped, I think. But comparing it to the Manta... Yeah, still, it's, it's better than the Manta, but the, this I is... I mean, this probably still fits. Yeah, one of the problems might be how big a piece they, they made with these yeah. ones. Like, they should have cut them in half. There is no reason why they didn't do it like this and cut it like that. ooh -wee. These are nice pieces. Like, I'm, I'm starting to fall in love with this model. Oh, wow, here we have a funky shape. Yeah. So what started out as a good freaking cast is now turned into... Not perfect. Before we continue with this unboxing and give you the end verdict, I just wanted to remind you guys that whenever you guys smash likes on videos and subscribe to this channel, we grow and with that also gives us an opportunity to make even more insane projects. So I just wanted to send out a big thanks for doing that and helping us reach a new audience and have more fun with the hobby. Now, let's continue. We have some kind of nice. envelopes. Oh, here we have the certificate. So it's, it's been 570 models between this one and the first one. That means that a lot of people are buying. These oh, are it's nice. so nice. They're almost already done. Yeah, but you have to cut these off. Every single one and put or them you, in the hole. You know what we could do? No. We can only put like half of them. Oh, like it's uh, been in battle. Yes, nice. fire them already. <laughs> so this is uh, one of the claws. Which is my favorite part about the entire... I will take this with picture. This is for the traitor <laughs> one, because it's gonna be a close combat one with two fists. There's an imperfection. What the hell? Give us the money back. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a slight yeah. indentation in here. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun making battle damage on these. You know what we should do? No. We should just cover it in tricky rhyme and then not paint it. <laughs> Oh, is this a tool list required to assemble it? Nice. Piercing saw. You need a painting handle. 
So, what's our end grade? Warlord Titan versus Manta and Thunderhawk. This takes the first place in terms of uh, quality. Yeah, but it's still like a 5. I would say a 6 out of 10. The resin leaks for me kills it. Like, the warping is really difficult, but the, the design is like so much better than yeah. the Manta. This is a massive thanks to all the sponsors and the patrons. You guys are always awesome. That's the reason we actually have salary. Fuck off.